This guide is guiding you through how to set up a multi-round tournament in the TrackMan tournament platform. You can access the tournament platform on trackmanindoor.com. Click on Facility and then on Tournaments. In order to create a multi-round tournament, click on Create Tournament and then select the multi-round. Creating a multi-round tournament consists of a few easy steps. First step is to enter the basic information about the tournament. The tournament title and the tournament description. Here I'll type in Trackman Tournament 2020 and welcome to the Trackman Tournament 2020. The next step is the tournament generator. First, define the number of rounds in the tournament plan. You can choose between 2 and 8. Here I'll select 4. Next, define the start date and start time an end date and end time of your tournament. You can use the calendar picker here to define the start date and the end date. And if you need to, you can select a specific start time and end time as well. You can also choose whether you want to allow players to play tournament rounds ahead. If you allow players to play rounds ahead, they can play a round before the round's official start date. The round results will be posted on the round start date and not when the player completes the round. You can activate the allow to play rounds ahead by clicking on this one. It is important to mention that you can define the specific start date and end date and start time and end time of each and every round. You can do that in the round editor below. When you have defined your tournament plan, next up is the game type. Select between Stroke, Stableford, and Stroke Net. Consider your tournament target group when defining whether handicaps should be accounted for or not. The game type setting applies to all rounds. The next setting you must consider is the Allow Mulligans and Shawn Scorecard. In the Allow Mulligans and Shawn Scorecard setting, you can choose whether tournament participants should be allowed to take mulligans in the tournaments. Please note that mulligans used will be stamped on the scorecard. Next up is the course settings. First, you can select whether your players should play all 18 holes or only the front 9 and back 9 for each and every round. You can change the settings for each round below. After that, you can define whether men and women can play from different tees. If you enable that, you can set the tee position for the female tee and the male tee respectively. Then click on generate rounds. As you can see here, the tournament you have created consists of four rounds. You can go to each and every round and define the specific start date and start time of the round and the end date and end time of the round. Only during or between the start date and the end date the tournament will be available for participants. For each and every round you can search courses, you can go through the course library and select the course that you want for the specific round. When you have selected the course, go to the round settings and make sure that the settings here are just as you want. So 18 holes or if it should only be front nine or back nine and select the specific tees for both genders in this case. You can also open the advanced course settings and define the fairway firmness, the green firmness, the pins, wind, putting and gimme distance for each and every round. Go through each, each of your rounds and select the course you would like to, to play for each round and set the, the course settings as you prefer. The default settings in multi-round tournaments is that all four rounds are played on the same course, but you can of course change that if you want to. When you have done that, click on create tournament and you are ready to go.